current metabolic modulating medicines like terzepatide and semaglutide, which help people reduce their weight, come with this whole topic around it about the quality of weight loss. In other words, how much of the weight lost is muscle mass and how much of it is fat? Well, we're getting some really encouraging information from some of the phase two and phase three clinical trial drugs that are out there that have a much higher quality of weight loss. Today, we're going to talk about pembidutide, which is from Altimmune. We heard some breaking news from them today on the quality of their weight loss. But I think to put that in context, it's helpful to understand where we are with the current medicines that many of us are on, semaglutide and terzepatide. So semaglutide had a 68-week study called the SELECT trials, which measured the muscle mass loss during uh, that phase of that trial. And basically what you saw was up to 39% of the weight lost in that trial was muscle mass or lean muscle tissue. With terzepatide in the SURPASS trials, you saw a 72 week trial where people lost anywhere from 25 to 30% of their muscle mass. Uh, that's what constituted their weight loss. 25 to 30% of it was muscle mass. And you see Eli Lilly and Novo Nordisk sort of marking this as a potential cause for concern because you do see them now buying up companies. Uh, in Eli Lilly's case, you see that they bought up a company that had a candidate called bimagramab that was actually already in testing with semaglutide. Bimagramab is a muscle preserving drug that could be administered or co-administered with terzepatide. And of course, on the Novo Nordisk side, you hear that they're working with a company called Regeneron to combine semaglutide with a muscle preserving drug from them as well. Pemvidutide, which is in phase two trials, it is a GLP-1 and glucagon coagonist from Altamine, uh, released their phase two trial data on a much shorter study. So this was 48 weeks, so the weight loss only hit about 15%. But of that 15% weight loss, only 21% of that amount was actually lean muscle tissue. So much more improved outcome for the quality of weight loss with the newer generations of drugs. And I think you can probably extrapolate this out to drugs like, uh, excuse me, drugs like Redetrutide, which has a glucagon component, or Servidutide from Bayringer Ingelheim, which also has a glucagon component and a coagonist as well. So the quality of weight loss is important. And even though all weight loss, no matter how you're achieving it, is going to come likely with some muscle loss, uh, it just stands to reason, right? When your body weighs less, you need less muscle to carry around that weight. But the quality is important, and especially semaglutide getting up to 39% uh, is probably a cause for concern in many, especially older people, where muscle mass preservation is extremely important. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking, saving it, sharing it, sending it to somebody else who might find it interesting as well.